first ENO experience, that would be with my mother. Um, she was passionate about Benjamin Britten, and she took me to see Billy Budd. And obviously, I'd, I, I passed the ENO, um, but I'd never been in. And this was a great opportunity for me and my mum to kind of bond and have a really amazing experience. And I loved it. I was brought up with classical music and opera and jazz and, you know, steel pan. My parents played numerous in, in, instruments. So, yeah, opera has kind of been with me for a very long time and my mother was passionate about the ENO and um, would always support with friends and herself and then me with seeing Billy Budd. You know, it's funny how the universe aligns in one's life. I was just about to film um, Lady Macbeth. Uh, it's not Shakespeare. Um, it's based on Lady Macbeth of Matensk. So I was filming Lady Macbeth, which has Florence Prue in it, written by um, Alice Birch and directed by uh, William Alderoyd. And I was two weeks, uh, uh, two weeks into filming and a friend of mine said, oh, I've got a couple of tickets that you can have to this opera that's uh, playing at the ENO, and it's Lady Macbeth of Matensk. And I thought, what are the odds that I'm uh, filming this piece and the thing that it is based on, the opera that it is based on, is playing at the ENO? So my partner and I went. And it was it was just a really incredible experience to sit there knowing that I was involved in this storytelling that had evolved from the opera and I was watching the opera and taking that experience and taking it back to the film set was just a really great, lovely, you know, stars aligning, universe coming together and art forms influencing art forms. Yeah, it was an extraordinary moment, I thought. And I love those moments. And they often happen in music for me and my work. Music plays a really, really important uh, collaboration in my theatre work, my TV work and my film work. Um, it always has. Um, in my own life as well, um, it's, it really lives alongside uh, how I live my life. So yeah, special moment that. My first opera experience would be a wonderful opera singer called Leontine Price. Um, I remember my dad playing her in the house and playing My Man's Gone Now which she sang and being really enamored with the sound and quality and texture of the way she sang this song. And lo and behold, many, many, many years later, I got to do um, Porgy and Bess at Regent's Park Open Air Theatre, singing My Man's Gone Now. Another moment in my life where you know the universe my family the history of music in my world growing up um comes full circle and to have you know the knowledge of this beautiful black gorgeous opera singer who sang the song that i was singing every single night to have that you know flow within me um, was, yeah, a very, very extraordinary experience. Well, I have a lot of influences, as you can imagine. I've got a very eclectic um, uh, musical uh, vocabulary. 
So one 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 memory that I have of when I was completely and utterly obsessed with a piece of music was Elgar's cello concerto, especially Jacqueline Dupre. I played that piece of music and her interpretation of it over and over and over and over again while I was doing my diploma in acting. And I just love her energy and I love the darkness that she has in her life, the ups and the downs and the lows and the highs. And I think at that time in my life, I was going through a kind of similar experience. So kind of grabbed onto um, her energy and this piece of music that just really resonated, you know, through the body and through the soul. And I always say that, you know, storytelling comes from many, 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 many different places. And classical music has its own way of reaching out and telling a story. Um, and Elgar's cello concerto was definitely one that spoke to me at that time in my life. Gosh, I'm listening to Kyla Minogue at the moment, her disco album. Um, I have a passion for country music, um, a dirty secret passion about country music. Jazz um, is one of my loves. Ella Fitzgerald is the reason why I started to take singing seriously. A tisket, a tasket that I heard her sing and I thought, okay, let's, let's get real with this Golder. That was kind of late teens, early twenties. So yeah, my music and the music that inspires me and the music that I listen to when I'm working is very, very wide and, and varied. I think I have to go back to Benjamin Britten for this uh, piece of music that really resonates with me. Um, and that would be War Requiem. <laughs> And there was a moment, or there is a moment in the piece where the chorus, and it's such a visual image for me, where the chorus is lying on the floor and they rise and they fall and they rise and they fall. Um, and then you have, I think it's Emma Bell who plays the soprano moving through them. I think she's, her, she's dressed in red, this kind of vibrant kind of blood red. It haunts me. It's one of those images and one of those kind of sounds that, that comes back to you every now and again um, and is, uh, has really inspired me. That for me, the musical, the musicality of it, the choral aspect, you know, I think it starts off with the chorus just kind of muttering. The sound just rises from the earth and it was, it was really extraordinary and choral music for me is another great love. Um, just that, just a, 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 a lot of people, you know, an ensemble of people breathing together, making sound together is, is extraordinary. The Twelve by, um, uh, who is it, William Walton, I think, is a, a, an extraordinary kind of choral uh, piece of music. It's actually one of my brother's favourite pieces of music and I listened to it the other day and thought, wow, oh God, isn't it incredible? All these people together as one making this amazing, glorious sound. A production I'd like to see... I'm, Janicek is, is, is one for me and the cunning little vixen, I think. Um, I mean... <laughs> The title in itself is is um, very intriguing, um, and I don't know any of his work at all. Um, but yeah, that's that's one that I would love to investigate, as I'm sure um, it would be marvelous. <laughs> <laughs>